Hi, this is Logan from Logan'sRunThePodcast.com, and this is another one of my video tutorials. Today I will be teaching you how to download and install TalkShoe Live Pro. TalkShoe Live Pro is an extremely stable chat client, which helps you uh, get through for the chat room on TalkShoe. The other one is the web browser itself, and the problem with the web browser is that it has a tendency to crash quite a bit. So most people enjoy using the features of the TalkShoe Live Pro web chat client. What you want to do is you want to go in and open up your browser and go to www.talkshoe.com. And here is the main page of TalkShoe. And down at the bottom, there is the download link. Click on the download. And it will take you right here to download TalkShoe Live. Click on that and it will take you through the process just to saving the icon to your hard drive. You can save it anywhere you want. I always save it to my hard drive so that it is easy to find where it's at. And I already have it there from earlier lessons so we're just going to replace it. It will take probably about 15-20 seconds to download that. The file itself is only 15.4 megabytes, so you don't have to worry about it taking up a lot of space. It's a small file on your computer. And it has been installed, so we're going to minimize the window here. And you go over to the icon to the TalkShoe Live setup over here, and we're going to click on that. And if you have a user access account control, you can trust it to uh, be a safe program. Yes, do allow permission and it's installing a 4J wizard to take you through the setup process. The whole process is very self-explanatory. It's just an easy setup. Next, we want to hit next to continue on. This here is the license agreement for using with TalkShoe Live Pro. I do recommend that you read it. It gives you some information what you can and can't do on TalkShoe with the TalkShoe Live Pro. Yes, we want to accept the agreement. And we're just automatically going to install it to the program files slash TalkShoe. At which point it will extract all the files into the folder. And click finish. And it is that simple. You now want to go to a show that's already running. And I created a room just for this. And when you come to the room, to get to the room itself, when you see it in the live feature, and we will go back and show you here in the live now, these are all currently live shows. To go into the room, you actually want to click on the icon of the room itself, and that will take you to the TalkShoe page. Now we're going to go to a room that I had already created. You have two options. If you click on the large purple button here, that will take you in using the web client. Now the web client, like I stated in the beginning of the show, is very unstable. Using that, you may drop out two or three times in the, in the series while listening to the show. To use the TalkShoe Live Pro, click on the blue button. It's the smaller of the two, and it says TalkShoe Live Pro. And this will load it up for you. Now since I've already dialed in, all I'm just going to do is just click on here to clear it out. And here I am. It shows the username. This blue screen right here shows that I am online on the chat room right now. This shadowed out screen here is if I was actually live on a call. Now a couple of things that will pop up is normally when you first pop up it will show you quick tips down here. And it gives you a little basic instructions on what's what in a show. You can click up, up here to show quick tips on startup or you can exit out like I do because once you've seen it once then you don't need to see it again. Right here is your main screen here that all your text messages appear and down here is where you submit your text your chat messages. At which point I can type in a message. The neat thing that the TalkShoe Live Pro can do is if I were to highlight, if we have a number of different people here in the room and they're all 
talking a message and say someone says something that I want to specifically focus in on. You can click on that and as you see it's outlined in blue now and it changes the color down here of the chat window. By typing in a message now it actually color codes that to a separate color so that people can know that those separate threads are actually connected. Click on it again till the box is white to clear it out. People then can just type in various different messages and I'm just going to do some garble here. And if I wanted to reply to this one here I would click on that as well. And as you can see each time you click on a different one it brings it up a different color. If you are hosting a show, you will up at the top, you will have all your different commands here where you can mute all participants, unmute all callers, you can block all chat. If I were to hit this, it would block me out and I would lose everything for chat. But it doesn't do it for the host, which I'm the host of the show. Or you can allow all chat, so anyone in the room, you can control if they're going to use chat or not. These are all some of the features here for your recording. You have a start button and a terminate button for starting and ending your calls. But this is a quick basic lesson on how to use TalkShoe Pro. We're going to exit out. If you are a regular user of TalkShoe, we highly recommend that you download TalkShoe Live Pro. You will not regret it. It is a very stable program. Once you get used to the different colors, you can communicate with people in different schemes and it's, it's an enjoyable chat room. The other neat feature about that is it saves all the, it retains all the chats from the start of the show. If you come into a show late and you want to know what some people were talking about in the chat before that, it shows up in the chat room. With the regular web client, it does not. So this is Logan from Logan's Run the Podcast recommending that you go download TalkShoe Live Pro.